What's up YouTube, Cliff here from the Sunday Drive and today we are sitting in my 2012 Camaro and we're gonna show you how to connect your phone for Bluetooth music streaming on the standard head unit. So we're in my 2012 Camaro and this has the standard head unit. This was the uh, only head unit available in the 2010 through 2012 models. I'm not sure if some of the lower LS or 1LT trims had a different uh, head unit but this was the main head unit that came in these vehicles. In 2013, they introduced the Chevy MyLink head unit. However, I think this one was still available in some of the base models. The challenge with this is actually getting your phone to connect to stream music. It's not as straightforward uh, as it is in most head units. So it's very simple to connect your phone for phone calls. You would just uh, turn on yes, your yes. radio. Let's get out of that. Um, and as you can see, my phone is already connected now this is just for phone calls right now so if you want to connect your phone for phone calls you're gonna hit configuration over here you're gonna go down to phone settings uh, select Bluetooth pair device phone uh, the device list would give you um, any phones that are connected you can see some of my old phones that were connected right there um, I'm gonna go back uh, but if you want to pair a new pair. device please start a search on your Bluetooth phone and she's going to talk you through this right here. Once the search is complete, select your vehicle on your phone and then enter the code 8521. Again, the code is 8521. Alright, so as the lady said, you're going to do a Bluetooth search on your uh, phone. You'll find my vehicle is what's going to show up in your phone. And then you're going to enter this code and I'm going to select cancel. Alright. Now that's great. Um, you have your, your phone connected for phone calls um, and that works uh, well. However, um, this does not stream music. So if you want to do that, it's a little bit unintuitive. Uh, so what you're going to have to do for that is go to your CD aux input and there are three menu settings. By default, it goes to aux input device and that's if you plug in an aux uh, cord. Um, then it next cycles to CD, um, obviously there's no CD in here, and then the final option is the aux jack out. And this is actually where you have to connect your phone for Bluetooth streaming, despite it saying that it's an output. This is not an output, it is still an input. So on this, you're going to want to go and select menu, and then your card's off. So in this menu, you're going to want to select menu select, and then connect new device and it asks if you're trying to connect a mobile phone that has audio streaming yes we are um, and this tells you you're going to want to look for g music select on your phone um, and just like and just like with the previous search you're going to have a pin to enter on your phone it's um, displayed right here so you're going to enter that and then select ok um, and then it tells you that your phone needs to be able to support at a2dp streaming all right so once your phone is connected you're gonna go up and select device. You can see my phone is listed right there, my Note 8, and it's gonna to connect to my Note 8. All right, oh, connection unsuccessful. So I'm actually recording the audio that for this video that we're shooting right now on my phone. I believe that's uh, messing up the connection right here because I put it in airplane mode. Um, however, this is where you would connect it. Now, the annoying thing about this is that it does not automatically connect your phone when you get in the vehicle. It does automatically connect it for uh, phone calls. However, to the secondary Bluetooth connection, you do not get automatic connection. So you have to go into your aux output menu, uh, select the menu, select device, Cliff's Note 8, um, and go through that connection every time. It's also kind of annoying because if you get a phone call while you have your music streaming, it will disconnect this Bluetooth connection and you're gonna have to manually reconnect, reconnect it after the phone call is complete. Um, one other annoying thing about the standard Bluetooth in this car is that when I'm on a phone call, the Bluetooth will randomly drop during the call and reconnect four to five seconds later. And this is really annoying when you're talking to someone and all of a sudden your Bluetooth cuts out from your head unit. So that's one annoying downside. Anyway, I hope this video was helpful. Um, it's pretty straightforward to connect your phone once you know this nuance. It's not intuitive at all, um, but it is pretty straightforward to do. Obviously, this is an older style head unit and the newer Chevy MyLink systems are much easier to connect your phone to. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you have any questions about this head unit um, or the Chevy Camaro in general, please leave them below. I have a lot more videos on the Camaro up on the channel and a lot more are coming. Thank you guys for watching and we'll see you here next time.